Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of League of Luck. Uh, from now on it's going to be a little different. Uh, I'm going to be doing replays of my videos, and I'm going to try to show you more interesting games, because picking a game at random and and just recording it, I kept feeling like, oh man, I like would later play a game that was way more interesting or something and wish that I had recorded that one. Uh, but because of hard drive space, I can't record every video, uh, but I can take a uh, lol replay of every video and then record the interesting ones. So uh, another good thing about doing it this way is I can uh, fast forward through the more boring stuff when I have nothing to say. And uh, it should, uh, hopefully, I'm hoping it'll just be uh, more interesting in general. So today I'm playing Draven, and uh, I have a I have a pretty I don't play Draven a lot, but I know how he's got to be play. He, you've got to be super aggressive or nothing. So uh, you're gonna see me die a lot, and you're gonna see me kill a lot, because uh, that's how Draven plays. He goes in and he either gets a he either kills you or he dies. There's uh, there's not a lot of disengage. To Draven, because generally he's, he's about all inning people. Uh, so just to go over Draven's abilities, which I can do now, uh, we've got the League of Draven is his passive. Uh, when he catches axes or kills a minion, he gains a stack of League of, Dra of uh, Adoration, which uh, upon getting a kill, he uh, burns all those stacks back down to zero, and for each stack, he gets two gold with a uh, with a 50, per 50 gold bonus on top of that. Uh, so, meaning the minimum amount of gold that Draven can gain from a kill, even if that uh, person has been uh, is on a death uh, like the biggest death streak possible. Um, even if he's on the biggest death streak possible, you'll still get at least a hundred gold. Uh, and in an ARAM, this uh, the passive is pretty, pretty overpowered because you're constantly getting you're getting kills way more than you would in a normal game. But then again, you're getting less stacks of adoration because there's less minions. So I guess it sort of balances out. Maybe it's just I haven't really played him that much since his passive changed. Uh, it used to be a bleed on critical hits and on your Q. Which brings us to Q. It's a spinning axe. It gives you, um... It means it makes the next basic attack you throw deal uh, bonus damage. And, uh... But the cool thing about it is that your axe will ricochet off of the enemy, and if you can catch it, you still have... Uh, you, you get the bonus on your next basic attack as well. Uh, and you can continue doing this, and you can even have, uh, if you continue doing it until the cooldown goes down, you can have two spinning axes, which means while one's in the air, you can still throw another uh, heavy hit, which uh, ends up being uh, very powerful if you're really good at catching your axes. Though, the enemy can also see where your axes are going to fall, so they might try to uh, bait you, like if, if they... Uh, they might throw some crowd control or something on that area to try to stop you from getting your axes or try to take advantage of the fact that you want to catch your axe. So you gotta watch out, you know, catch them when you can. Yeah, it's really good especially for farming because it is a huge amount of damage. Uh, your W, and like, I could be talking about what's happening on the screen right now, uh, but you know, it's your basic ARAM stuff, just little fights picking away at each other, so I figure I'll just use the beginning to talk about the champion, because uh, not much is happening. I mean, see, I mean, there has been 16 kills while I've been talking, but nothing too important. I mean, there's not much damage on either turret. No one's done any plays. Uh, you just saw there, Draven's ult is Whirling Death. He throws out two uh, axes that uh, will continue moving until they either hit the end of the map or hit an enemy champion. If they hit an enemy champion, uh, they continue moving for a short distance. 
and then um, they continue moving for a short distance and then turn back and come back to Draven. So you can sort of, you send, they go straight out, but you can actually kind of steer them a bit on the way back, uh, which is cool. And because they go a short distance and then turn around, you often hit the same enemy uh, twice. This, and if everyone's clustered together, you can theoretically hit everyone with it twice, which uh, gets pretty, uh, pretty powerful. And like I say, in a regular game, you can throw this all the way across the map. It's a, it's a global ability. A uh, little hard to hit with, like it's it's, it's essentially the same as uh, as an ash arrow, only more uh, only about dealing damage instead of uh, of utility. Uh, his W is Blood Rush, which uh, gives him a bonus movement speed and bonus attack speed, which uh, the movement speed decreases over the duration. So it starts off massive, like forty percent movement speed boost to give you an idea like phantom dancers gives you a six percent movement speed boost so it's it's one of the higher movement speed boosts in the game but it diminishes extremely fast it, because it's only it only sticks around for 1.5 seconds and it dimin diminishes over that time so it's a it's a huge burst of initial speed and then not much but the uh, attack speed lasts for three seconds and i died again i can tell because <laughs> the thing disappeared. Okay. And the directed camera keeps uh, keeps switching. But, um... So yeah, Blood Rush. Yeah, and catching... Oh, I didn't even know that one. Catching a spinning axe will refresh the cooldown of Blood Rush. That makes so much sense. Uh... And that ult didn't really do anything, it was just to get some harassment off, I remember it. Uh, there's a lot of those where, like, uh, I just spawn and just immediately throw it out, because it doesn't have a huge, huge cooldown. Like, it's standard size. Uh, like, less less than, than some globals. Like, Karthus's ult has a massive, massive cooldown, be for obvious reasons. Um... But yeah, okay, so if you catch a spinning axe, you can immediately cast Blood Rush again, which makes so much sense, and you will not see me do that in this video, <laughs> because I did not know about it. But is it's so that if you're chasing someone, you if you take the time to stop and catch an axe, you can use the movement speed boost to catch back up, to recover the ground you lost. If you watch here, I dance, I almost run into this mushroom so many times, and, uh... I do not do it. Look, I went straight for it there for a second, and then the minion hits it and it misses me. <laughs> I thought that was that was great. The first time I watched this replay. All right. Um, and anyway, his his final ability, because I already talked about the alt, is uh, stand aside, which he just throws out his axes and it knocks everyone to the side, uh, like that you hit them on. So if I hit them. If I hit them on their right side, they move to the left. If I hit them on the left side, they move to the right. And I just got killed there because Teemo's blind is like the perfect counter to Draven since all of Draven's damage comes from his auto attacks. So if you get rid of his auto attacks for three seconds, it's pretty powerful. And now I guess I'll just settle in to talk about the game. I thought I'd have to switch the camera more, but I guess it goes straight to directed when you're not when when Draven dies. Uh, talk a little bit about the items like Draven is just standard sta you know a standard ADC you want as much damage as fast as possible uh, then get well like yeah he's he's more damage focused than some like some people like Vayne want attack speed first uh, with Draven you want uh, you want damage first and then you want to uh, start getting crit and stuff. The crit's not as important as it was when he had his old passive, which was on crits, he has a, like, uh, a damage over time effect. But, uh, yeah, and, oh, this is why, another reason it's horrible to play against a Teemo in, uh, in an ARAM is because you'll never, like, if the enemy's been near one of the health things, uh, it's gonna have a mushroom on it. 
But that was a good play there. He stunned me, but he took too long getting to me, so when the stun broke, uh, I just walked up to him and killed him. I use stand. I uh, you'll see me use stand aside offensively most of the time, uh, because like I said, um, Draven is an all in, and that uh, the extra closing distance you can get when they're when they're knocked aside for a second is pretty intense. I just got taken down by a Cho'Goth Q there, but he died for it. And uh, there's not going to be as much fast forwarding in ARAM videos, obviously, because there's action all the time. There's always something to look at. Uh, in, hopefully in my uh, in my summoner's rift videos I'm gonna obviously if I'm just sitting in lane farming I'm probably just gonna fast forward through it so hopefully videos will be shorter from now on and I'll just try to do stuff like that like cut off a few seconds here or there um, so this uh, this mundo is he, he's just goes in hard all the time because Mundo's ult only has like a 45 second cooldown and it regenerates so much health. And you saw I used my barrier to try to block that damage, but I use it like half a second too late. My ult comes out there, bursts their whole team uh, down pretty good. Then I use stand aside to make sure they can't uh, kill, catch up to fiddlesticks and crowd control them. Yi comes around from behind, tries to get the Ash, doesn't make it. Uh, Graves is extremely, has an extremely powerful burst. And uh, we both get hit by the Teemo Mushroom. Uh, it's pretty much guaranteed death. Uh, I already used my stand aside, and I'm sort of waiting to see if the cooldown will come down on it and I can kill. Uh, but this guy jumps under the turret, and I kill him. And you can see I got 74 gold, uh, bonus gold from my passive. Um, <laughs> one of the uh, And I walk up to try to kill that Vagar, and if I had gotten a critical hit, he would have died. Uh, I didn't, so he just queued me and uh, killed me. I was hoping he'd be too preoccupied with Mundo to actually uh, do what he's supposed to and fight me. Um... Uh, Yi obviously should have left there, because I'm pretty sure Teemo had him blinded. <laughs> and unfortunately, Cassidin jumps straight onto a mushroom, and uh, it seals his fate. And I'll just fast forward until I get back up there. Teemo kills him. No one needs to see that. There's When Draven's available to be seen on the screen, Draven's going to be seen. It's <laughs> I mean, this is the League of Draven, after all. And I'll probably get better at controlling the camera and stuff, and and deciding where to look. Man, he just got burnt down like crazy. But you're seeing I'm starting to get more, more and more critical hits now. I've got my Infinity Edge finished. That's why. Normally you go Bloodthirster first, but there's no Bloodthirster on uh, Aram, and I sort of forgot about the Sanguine Blade, and it's not built out of the BF Sword anymore. Uh, anyway, so I wasn't sure about the damage even when I did remember it I was like I, I actually don't remember what the if the dam if the final damage changed on it or not but it's now built out of uh, that the axe thing the thing that last whispers made out of I forget what it's called but um, ooh, that was a bad place to get stunned so yeah they're all like primed to be killed by me and I uh, I remember that happening and I remember thinking what am I doing I think I misclicked and I tried to right click graves I accidentally just stepped forward and luckily I managed to fix it at the last second at least I still got graves I didn't just get murdered but uh, I ran in the middle of them for absolutely no reason uh, that was a good dodge of the the Q, and uh, he's just fighting this Teemo. And actually, I want to go back and look at that one. So I uh, hit the 15 seconds back. Okay, 
He flat. He. I didn't notice that mushroom. He went for the health, and uh, and got hit by a mushroom, and Timo finished him off. So I must be buying items, and because I'm kind of bad at this game, sometimes it, I spend a long time in the store. And so here we go. Three of us coming back into lane. Fiddle as they haven't reached our tower. Whoops, I accidentally sped it up. Okay, so we're in here. Once again, Mundo sees everybody low and just decides, meh, let's get him. Uh, you can see the health regenerating on him from his ult, 84 per second, or 84 like twice a second, I don't know. Uh, if that ult had uh, hit on the way back, uh, Teemo would probably be dead at this point. But it didn't. They stayed away from it. I did manage to get Graves. Now I barrier and just escape while Yi finishes off Teemo. Uh, Mundo goes really deep and actually does pick up a kill before he dies, so probably worth it in the end. Vagar uh, <laughs> ults and uh, murders. I'm just going to check something. Vagar's... Uh, Q. He's only got 24 bonus ability power at this point. Because uh, he gains ability power on kills and on uh, minions he kills with his Q. So a little bit like Nasus in that uh, respect. And so this game is... Uh, we've, got, we've got most of the momentum, but the enemy does keep... Is putting up a good fight. Like, we're not being able to just push right through them like some ARAMs, which is why I wanted to show this game. It's sort of back and forth. Uh, good job. It's a, it's a, everyone did a good job. No disconnecting, no thing. It's just a generally exciting game. Yi in the middle of all four of them uh, just gets taken apart, and I'm too low to go in because Draven is extremely squishy. Uh, I do manage to get a, out ahead of that, uh, that Q. But I get stunned. Luckily, I'm able to <laughs> flash out and use my ult to pick up a double kill, uh, which will slow their momentum. Uh, triple kill on Shogoth. And, oh, uh, what happened there is I didn't see it either. Some of you may not have seen it. I didn't definitely didn't see it coming. I was just like, huh. So I killed Shogoth, and... Right, right here, uh, Vagar put down his Meteor Strike, and it, uh, I think that's what it's called, and it, it killed me without me even noticing. So we've got Teemo, who doesn't have to worry about Teemo Mushrooms, picking up all the health on the map. Uh, Vagar is still up and about, oh, but he gets off a really good stun, and he combos Yi down to half health, Yi meditates, and pretty much uh, got it all back, not not a huge problem, uh, I'm gonna fast forward here, uh, there is stuff going on, but it's pretty obvious, uh, they jumped in and just couldn't take all the damage. Probably got hit by a Cho'Goth Q and taken down. And wow, that was just that was a crit on one of my Q hits. As you can see, I crit the range minions for over a thousand, and uh, I kill Ash first because she can do the damage and then killed Cho'Goth, and I actually have a Maw of Malmordius, uh, because, well, one, it gives you AD, more AD the lower your health is, which I expect my health to be low quite a bit. Two, Vagar, Teemo, and Cho'Goth are AP, and they're doing a significant amount of damage, so the spell shield, or, uh, or whatever you call it, the magic shield, works pretty good. That was just... Uh, Vagar went way too deep. He put down a stun. Uh, if he was smart, he would have put the edge down directly on me, but I guess he was thought I would run because I was so low a health. And if his ult was up, which I'm not sure if it was, it wasn't. So, uh, but I wouldn't have known that. 
it was like it's up now so i would have assumed i probably assumed it was up and he could have killed me but luckily uh ye and mundo were right there to add to my own critical hit and kill him in just a second <laughs> As Timo's hiding in the bush, we don't even know he's there, and he's probably gonna kill Yi. Uh, he's gonna kill me, actually, and the, the mushroom uh, did most of the killing of Yi. And so we've gone down. Uh, right now, the game is pretty even. They actually have more kills than us, and uh, on their last push, they did finally get a turret, so they caught up in turrets, and they're ahead on kills. Uh, and if you look at the gold, they're actually up by almost a thousand. Not a huge, not a huge bonus by any means, but uh, they are a, they are winning, however slightly. And they've got us in a in a tough position. Two people really low uh, defending the turret, so they'll be able to get quite a bit of damage onto it. Uh, Yi goes in, backs out immediately. I managed to, to get out of the queue, the Cho'Goth queue there. And I pop my W to catch straight up, use my um, stand aside to close the gap again, try to get that Cho'Goth. Because at this point, no, I do not have my Blade of the Ruin King yet, but that's why what I'm building. I have the uh, Bilgewater Cutlass. And. We are just trying to get in. Two of them take that Teemo Mushroom, which is not great. I pop my ult, hoping to get Shogoth, but just barely missing him. Uh, my spell shield comes out. Uh, like, the mob saves me from dying there, because um, Teemo's Mushroom had it uh, actually ticked onto me. Uh, Graves' attack would have been all that was needed. And Cho'Goth would have died there, and I just went down uh, because mainly because I could have barriered, and I probably would have gotten off an extra auto attack and killed Graves. But uh, I didn't. I wasn't quick enough on it, or forgot that it was up, or whatever. Uh, <laughs> Graves, uh, Graves kills, uh, but at the cost of his own life. But that's a two for one. So they're actually getting quite a bit more ahead now. I'm just going to fast forward some of this. Because no one's alive and no one's pushing. And I'm just going to take a look at what Fiddle's doing. I'll switch back to me after. I'll switch back to me now, I guess. Actually. And... Fiddle gets just totally wrecked by uh, the full combo, and uh, I get slowed by the Ash Arrow, but I manage to stand aside and get away. Now it's Mun with Mundo in here, Cho'Goth tries to kill some minions, uh, realizes how much damage I can do to him despite however much health he has and uh, tries to back away but doesn't. Once again, I go to chase but get hit by a Teemo Mushroom and get burnt down extremely low. Cause I'm assuming, yes, he's finished his Leandri's Torment. I don't know how long he's had that, but he does a ton of damage now. Uh, but luckily, I have a ton of lifesteal. Here comes Graves and stand aside, followed by uh, activating my Q and we murder each other. Hit my auto attack kills him as his uh, shotgun blast kills me. Again, I could have barriered and lived, but I'm uh, not the best at using summoner spells, especially not in ARAMs where everything's so fast paced. And this fiddle just trying to support getting getting minion blocked or some or turret corpse blocked. I don't even know what that was. Uh, but here comes, oh, the fiddle alt. He gets, uh, oh, he gets feasted by Cho'Goth, but it's not enough. And uh, he manages to live. Uh, let's take a look at what's going on up here. We get the turret. But Graves is here, and he's doing massive damage. And he pops his alt, which is very powerful. And the Teemo Mushroom finishes him off. So here come me and Mundo. 
coming back up and uh, this is, we're in sort of a bad way uh, I die again because I didn't use my barrier and Graves did because uh, <laughs> I am uh, very terrible at this game but despite my terribleness I still have 23 kills which is significantly higher than anybody else and also because of my passive I am actually 4,000 gold ahead of, oh no, 3,000 gold ahead of the next highest person uh, because I'm getting so much extra gold per kill. All right, so I'm coming up. We're defending the turret. He's doing some massive damage. Cho'gath Q's actually hits two of us. Uh, the slow from Cho'gath's Q stops me from getting away from Vagar's W. We start a fight. I ult and I manage to curve it so that it hits uh, three guys on the way back. I pick up a kill on Graves. Uh, they pick up Yi, who was sort of fighting by himself there. Uh, I run headfirst into a Teemo Mushroom, and they start to get away. And I take down Ash while she's feared, which is awesome because uh, we're level 18 now, so everyone's got all of their abil abilities. I take down Teemo possibly before he even could use his blind, or maybe he already used it. I'm stunned, but Vagar goes for uh, Fiddle instead, which allows me to come out of the stun and kill both Cho and himself. And that is a quadra kill and an ace. Graves comes back up, and watch what happens. I hit him with Stand Aside. He flashes onto me for some reason, and I get a pentakill. The first pentakill I have ever gotten playing League of Legends. Uh, it was pretty awesome and <laughs> when you when you factor in that I killed Graves originally too for that respawn uh, it's pretty funny <laughs> I got six kills in a row and here I uh, feel cocky so I stand aside and I run in completely forgetting about Teemo's blind and uh, get destroyed <laughs> but that pentakill was crazy and uh, as you can see our team gold is we're now in the lead uh, because we've taken so many turrets now uh, but the purple team is killing us like crazy uh, and only we're all down for we're level 18 now so even on ARAM the cooldown st you start feeling the the death timers because I died a long time ago and I'm only just coming back up and our turrets, it gave them enough time to kill like two more people and then push our turret down. I use my ult just to initiate some damage and uh, fiddlesticks ults as well, uh, gaining some huge, huge power. And now it's just push as fast as you can. I'm hoping to get some hits off on these minions so that I can heal. I pick up this health pack. Luckily, it did not have a Teemo Mushroom on it, but uh, that <laughs> that health pack did. And then I'm like, hey, look, there's a health pack here. And my teammate even pinged it. And I was like, nope, not taking that health pack. And as I can see from the replay, uh, it was a good idea not to take that one because I can just lifesteal back up, whereas that health pack would have killed me uh, had I stepped onto it which I started I st just decided to finish it and start attacking the Nexus but unfortunately they can kill me too fast I was two auto attacks away I'm, I'm pretty sure and so we're aced or not aced I guess because uh, Cassidy's up but uh, whoops I slowed it down somehow okay so Cassidy's the only defender. We do have both of our Nexus turrets up. Uh, but it's a 5v1 for the next 8 seconds. So Cassidy's just got to hold on a little bit longer. 
and he decides to go just straight in and try to get a kill, and he does manage to pick up Teemo, but there are plenty of uh, heavy strikers left on the enemy team. I come out and just ult immediately, uh, picking up a kill on Shogoth. I then focus Vagar because I haven't looked at his build, but if he built a Lich Bane, he can do a lot of damage disruptors. Uh, he did not, but uh, I anyway, I kill him, and then we kill Graves, and it's GG. I start farming the minions, and then remember, oh right, we already got both turrets. So uh, we have eight seconds until, until Teemo's up. So Teemo's going to be up right when we get there, but I pop my attack speed boost and take the turret before Teemo even steps off the uh, platform. So that was my the ARAM in which I got my very first pentakill, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys later.